Power 1051, KC Hip Hop and RB. It is even a special guest in the Zoom room. Desi. We in the room. How you doing, baby? You good? <laughs> I'm good, Desi. The question is, are you ready for Kansas City? I can't wait. First of all, I'm waiting on the barbecue. So when I get there, I got to get the barbecue. Because, right. of course, y'all are known for the barbecue. So, you know, point me in the right direction where I need to go. I mean, I've been to a few places when I'm out there. But what do you feel like the best place to go to? Well, I feel like you're going to go to Gates automatically. For sure. Okay, Gates is the one then. I, I've been yeah, hearing a lot of people talk about Gates. I like to go to Gates for my sandwiches. Q39 has a really good flavor. And Jack Stack is bad and bougie, but they have good baked beans and everything they have is good. They have the good flavors. Okay, fair. As long as it's feel like I'm from the South, you know, I'm from the South. So, you know, we understand that, that barbecue. So, if it tastes right. like that, then it's good. Yeah. I feel like the South just understands good eating. That's most all. definitely. Most yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Desi, I, I'm very familiar with you for like all your social media clips, but I'm not familiar with like your stand-up. So yeah. I'm really excited to see you this weekend. But I want to know, because like what I said, a lot of people, you have a huge following. I believe I saw you had like 8 million or something like yeah, that. 8.8 8 million on um, on Instagram, three almost 4 million on Facebook, um, 2.6 million on YouTube. Not bragging at all, but yeah, you know, it's there. Yeah, no, I have a lot go of. Go ahead, go ahead, and flex a little. Go ahead and flex a yeah, little. That support me, man. You know the gift has made room for me, so it's been doing really, really good. Yeah, I got a lot of support on social media. Absolutely. So I want to know, with all of like your skits that you've done on social media, has there been one that's gone like completely left, or do you always tell people what you're about to do? Um, <laughs> no, I never tell people what I'm about to do. You know, what I'm saying it's always a surprise, but I try to stay relatable. You know, to the people. You know, my stuff is like, you know. When I do videos, I want you to, you know, when you watch it, I want you to be like, okay, uh, I've seen that before. That's like my cousin or that's like my brother or, you know, that's my type of style. You know what I'm saying? I like the raw, I like the real. Um, I, you know, just that feel-good comedy, you know? I'm me, you know, I'm myself, you know, either I don't seen it or I done been through it, you know? So, right. yeah, I'm dope, man. I'm new. I'm fresh. You know, I'm the new energy that's that up and coming, you know what I'm saying? That the people, I feel like that, that they need it, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm just thankful for, you know, what I can share to the people. Okay. So talking about how like you're new and raw and definitely with the new comedians coming, it's different from how the old comedians came up. And I always hear the older comedians saying like, oh, these young kids don't know what we had to go through. Do you feel like you get the respect that you deserve as a um, newcomer in the game? I would say um, now I'm starting to get it because, you know, of course I transitioned to do stand up, you know, um, like the OGs look at comedy as being real, you know, they come from stand up, you know, um, so you got to respect that in order for you to get those major opportunities, you have to get on that stage. So, you know, I'm on year eight, uh, year eight of doing stand up, you know, I've toured across the world with people like Mike Epps, I've been on tour with him, I've done shows with Bill Bellamy, D. Ray Davis, I've done shows with, with Lou Nail, some more. Lavelle Crawford, you know, Gary Owens. So I've done shows with all those guys who, you know, actually saw me in person, but they 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 see that I, I respect the crowd and I take it serious, you know, outside of social media. But you know, social media, a lot of people, you know, so from social media, they probably don't want to take it to that level. And that's okay. You know, I'm just one of the ones that actually want to, you know, get to that level of comedy. I want to be a new generation of uh, of real life comedy. You know, I want you to be able to come see me in person. I want you to be able to come, you know, watch me in a movie at, at a theater. I want you to be able to watch me on TV, you know, uh, uh, TV show, whatever it is, you know. But I feel like uh, stand up is what actually stamp you into that world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we know that you love the stand up. We know that you do all the social media content creating. I also saw that you do real estate, too. Yes. Yes, I do. OK, yes. so how did that come about? Was it just like a side hustle? And then you're like, okay, I'm going to take this seriously. Or like, where do you even find time? Well, um, first, of course, you know, uh, once I started making money um, from social media or just or from stand up or whatever it was, um, I, I want, of course, I wanted my money to, to go to a place where it also would grow. Um, and my auntie actually started me off into the real estate. And she said, you know, real estate is like one of the best investments in the world. So I did my first investment maybe in 2000. 2020 and um, it was a fix and flip that I did a house in Buckhead in, in, in Georgia and um, I probably put down like like 20,000 and I got like a $90,000 profit back you know from that and I, then I was just like you know what nah this is it you know and now I'm like on my I uh, probably done at least uh, about 15 houses now wow yeah that yeah so it's impressive. yeah so now, you know, I'm fixing and flipping. I'm building from the ground up. I'm buying land. Um, I'm actually about to do a, 
me and Gary Owens are actually about to uh, build a mansion together. So it's going to be dope. What? We're building a mansion together. A mansion. Okay. Yeah, yeah me and Gary Owens, we're doing that together. We're going, you know, it's on, we're going to put it together like, you know, we'll create it like a TV show or something like that. So we can actually pitch that, you know, to the world as well, you know, but of course, sell the home. But, you know, just, you know, coming together, doing something great. And, you know, just letting people know, man, you want to invest in real estate. It's, I feel like it's the best thing. I love that, you know, because usually when someone just gets their money and is new in the money game, they want to buy the chains and they want to buy the yeah, they, they, they just want to spin it. You can spin it, but, you know, you, you still got to have like other things coming in for sure. You got to have multiple streams of income, I feel. Absolutely. And shout out to your auntie for, you know, telling you that. and yeah, making right. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right for sure. So um, also, I know that a lot of comedians, we're seeing a lot of them do a lot of their specials on like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Is that something that you're, is this material that you're working with to possibly bring us something like that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Somewhat, yes. Um, As far as shooting a special, yeah, we're looking to do my special in like a year and a half, uh, a year and some months from now. Um, We actually, I'll be shooting a movie this year. So we want to do my movie first. And then once the movie come out, then we want to actually go on another tour. And then, you know, prepare that, you know, and get ready for a special. So we look, for, we actually look for um, different networks that we want to, you know, go to. We've been in the works with Hulu and Netflix, of course. Uh, but yeah, that that's most definitely in the future. But yes, my material that I'm doing right now is, is most definitely preparing me for that, for that special, for sure. Wow. So many blessings coming your way. Now, I want to know, when was it the first time that you realized that, okay, I can make money from this? Because I know we all use social media and we all post things and, you know, some people are better than others. But when was that first moment when you realized, okay, this can take my career to where I want it to be? What was that moment? Oh, no, most definitely. Um, When I was broke and I, <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and, I, and, I and I received the show, um, somebody uh, emailed me and was like, yo, I got this show I want you to do for $5,000. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, hold on, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's when I, you know, I started, you know, I was like, okay, let me figure this out. You know, and I needed to get to that level. But of course, you know, at first it wasn't about the money. You know, I just wanted to be good at it. And I feel like if I be good at it, it's just, it, the money going to come, you know? Um, yeah. But yeah, once I started making money from that stand up, it was, it was a wrap. But social media also paid me first as well. Social media was paying. So shout out to YouTube, shout out to Facebook, you know, Instagram don't pay anymore. But they was paying once upon a time as well. So social media do give you good income, you know. But that's why I feel like, you know, I, I feel like people shouldn't get lost in the money. Because if you make so much money on social media, a lot of people probably won't, they wouldn't want to take it to the next level, you know. That's why I say my my vision of what I want to do is is way beyond the money. You know, I want to become one of the, the legends. I want to become one of the, 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 the new comedy, you know, generation, you know, generational legends. I want to become a Mike Epps. I want to become a Martin Lawrence, Kevin Hart, you know. Uh, all the guys that I named, you know, uh, Bernie Mac, you know, all those guys, Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, you know, Red Fox, all those guys was legends. And I want my name to be able to hold weight like that. Right. So, and also back to your clips that you have, what is one celebrity that you were actually surprised that they were willing to get on one of your clips and uh, do one of your skits with you? Um, hmm. Probably Kevin Hart. <laughs> Yeah, Kevin Hart probably, yeah, he probably was the one when I did that skit with, I probably done like three skits with him now. But now he's like my mentor now. Yeah. You know, like we're really cool. Like he's shooting a movie right now. I was on set with him hanging out last week, you know, and he always giving me game. We just had dinner, you know. But Kevin Hart right now is like the guy that I'm like, yo, I'm really like working with him. You know, I'm really like locked in with him, you know. And um, he really like, you know, see me as being somebody that's going to be great in the future, you know, so I appreciate him, you know, for that, you know, and yeah, we build it. We build it for sure. Wow. Yeah. What a career. Like I, I'm very impressed. I mean, I've al always seen you on social media and everything. And then when I started to do my research on you, you're a very, very smart individual. And I'm very excited to see where your career is going to go. I'm very, very impressed. And I appreciate that. You got to make sure you come to the show too. I, I will be coming to your show. Make sure you get your tickets. It's at the Funny Bone, but it's still at improvkc.com. Log on there, get your tickets. Tomorrow you have two shows, 7 o'clock and 9.45. Saturday, yes. 7 o'clock and 9.45. And then you'll be here on Sunday and yes. your show is at 5 o'clock. So make sure you get your tickets for that. Let's Anything go. else that you want to add that you're working on? We know that you're, you know, working out your special material. Anything else we can look out for? Oh, just look out for me coming there and get some meat, um, some barbecue. I'll be at Gates Barbecue. I don't know which one, but I'm coming to get it. But guess what? I'm also a Kansas City, Missouri fan as well. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Kansas City Chiefs fan. For Excuse sure, for sure. Excuse me. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, like I've been there for like four years. I'm a big Patrick Mahomes player, uh, fan. I actually did some work, you know, with the NFL where I was actually um, Patrick Mahomes for a day, which was dope. Yeah, so it's crazy. So yeah, I need the Chiefs fan to pull up too. Wear your Chiefs jerseys, all that. Yeah, and hey, we turning up this weekend. Get the tickets right now. Hey, we on the way. Okay, we're looking forward to it. We can't wait to have you, Desi. I'll see you this weekend at the Funny Bone ImprovKC.com to get your tickets. Drop your social media if people aren't following you yet. And I am Desi Banks on all social media platforms. All right, thank you, Desi.